Hey guys, it's me, Lee Gaming again. This time I'm bringing you a beginner guide part 3. So previously, somewhere last week, we have finished part 2 on the box review, but it's still incomplete, so I'm going to try to complete the boxes today. So for beginner or amateur or some expert players, at least you know what kind of decks are you going to build on each kind of box. So as of now, Konami is pretty greedy. We have like 16 numbers of boxes, main and side box. So last week we have we have gone through this chaotic compliance box. So let's move on to the next one, Land of the Titan. So this box, honestly, I don't really reckon anything, if you ask me. So we have the two UR card, yellow and the green bamboo both have pretty good at attack and defense but as of now it's just not meta so save your gem for this this deck it's not that useful next we have Talaya the princess of cherry Brosen. this is this card feature in one of my video plantation overthrow so make sure you check the video out it is pretty good for the deck because I'm always able to special summon her when my rose, rose lover is uh, destroyed and be in the graveyard. So I reckon you guys to get maybe two or three if you want to play that deck. If not, uh, don't bother too much. Next is another useless card, Mega Rock Dragon, which is no good at all. Next is Guy Free the Sword Master. Uh, the effect is pretty good, but I don't think it is that important to have it. And next we have Dust Knight. This was once pretty popular with another deck, which allows you to send one Earth monster from the deck to the graveyard, and you use the special summoning effect. But now it is not that good anymore. So next we have the Dry Feed, the Iron Knight, the combo with the, the Sword Master, but. It's not devastating and it don't belong in any meta, so I don't recommend you guys to do to 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 unbox this. Next we have this, the Mystic Base of the Forest. It's also not important to have it, and the Obedient School, which is not good at all. And we have the Ranging Mad Brands, which is a quick gray spell, but not very useful. So honestly, if you ask me, I don't fancy this deck at all because there's nothing much for you, even for the rare and normal cards, there's nothing important. Security Orb was used to be a second choice of enemy controller, but since they are giving free SR card like, like free food, so I don't think it's any more importance in Security Orb. So let's take a look in the next one, the Crimson Kingdom. This box is pretty important <coughs> if you want to play a Red Eye Zombie deck. You have Knight of the Red Lotus, which is very good if you have a lot of normal monster. You feel free to check out on my other video, the one I think for the Harpies, which I feature Red Lotus to summon the normal harpies out and use some normal spell to have a devastating effect so this card I reckon you guys can have at least two vampire lord we are not seeing too much of this guy because this attack is just 2000 it's not that it's not that fascinating at this at this stage of meta and we have gonzuki which is the, the core card of red eye zombie its effect is to allow you to meet up one zombie from a deck to the graveyard and special summon one zombie type from the hand if Gozuki is destroyed to the graveyard. So it's the call of the great eye zombie. So make sure you have three if you want to play that. Next we have Bro Hunter. Uh, this is just for fun deck I would say. The Hunter family. Next we have the Psychic Bot. Which is not bad if you want to play a psychic deck, but I believe psychic deck is like just tier 2 now. 
because of so much of Cyber Angel going on. So I don't reckon this unless you are a psychic lover. And next we have Ray Eye Vibrant. Uh, maybe just one or two is good enough. Not too much of this. And we have Burning Freezing Ibachi. Is a normal monster with 1850-100 attack. Not that good as of now because now we have 1900 attack and they have zero defense so this is very crucial against decks like Asia, Go Asia Golden piercing damage 3000 and Cyber Angel if this guy can face down too much damage and we have Busted Raider the fusion card and the Dark Paladin fusion card I reckon to have 2 H if you are able because that Paladin there are a lot of farming decks involved in him and we are still all waiting for the future deck to turn. So Resurrection, I believe one or two copies is fine enough. This, this card allows you to target one normal monster. Any normal monster includes Blue Eyes White Dragon, but you can only special summon it in defense position. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. When that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. So I would say just two of this would be enough. Next we have Buster Blader. Well, if you are going through so much you are, you'll probably have three of this, but this card is quite useless. Then next we have the Master Magician, which is not useful at all. And we have the Red Eye Zombie Dragon. So if you are a Red Eye Zombie Dragon fan, make sure you have two to three of this. And we have Goka, which is commonly used in the Phoenix deck because its ability is to special summon if you have a fire monster on the field. Next, we have Dark General Fear, not commonly seen in the stage. And we have this guy, it's not important at all. Speed Bird is not important. And I would say the rest of the assets are pretty trash, only Great Eye Zombie and Goka. So this box pretty much evolves around normal monster player. If you are a person who like to play normal monster or you have a lot of white cards, you can use them or the red eye zombie with these two combo. So for the rare cards, pretty much there are nothing that is fanciful here. And we have Great Atmos which is a white card, 1800, fairly decent. And yep, that's all for this Crimson Kingdom. It's gonna be a very expensive. It takes me a, a, a long while for me to get the Tazuki, so good luck. Hopefully, you have fun. Echo of Silence. This is the box that I try to avoid. As you can tell, I'm not really trying to pack this, this box. It's just basically Silent Magician that. And the Spear Dragon, which is kind of useless, kind of trash. So Silent Magician, unless you are a Magician lower, you will want to have this. But just one copy is fine now. And we have the Ultimate Insect, which is something like the Level Up Monster, like the Silent Magician. It's not very. It's it's pretty good, but I just think that the combo is kind of hassle. To have the ultimate insect level 3, 5, 7, too much of things. Voltage Trooper. This card was featured in one of my deck in my another video. So make sure you take a look, but one is enough. And we have Green Copper, which is pretty useless because you have to target two. So it means it includes your set spell and trap. So it's not that, that good. Spell power is useless, emergency provision is useless, raising air current useless, and this spell spell useless. Limit reverse is used by a few players here and there, but it's more on a theater deck. So I would really advise you to miss out this deck completely. Nothing fancy for here, unless you are trying to use a reptile build in one or the other box then probably you can just get three of these rare cards with you other than that it's pretty 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 useless 
so on the generation next everybody was hype up in this box because so much of e, e heroes out but honestly we are all disappointed this is the evil dragon anata which is a reptile type so the previous record that i recommend you is go along with this deck actually his effects is pretty good but it's just that i don't think it is that that awesome for competitive and we have horus which is a very good card i see a lot of horus players in the rank he start devotion because once you have this level 8 monster your opponent can't even activate any spell card it is so important but i would say it's kind of luck to draw this card it's not that easy as you think so unless you really like to play that kind of gameplay so just probably get one or two of this and magic or something is still not pretty useful although there are a lot of spell caster 1800 attack monster but it's still not useful and we have cut guard it's pretty good this effects allows one count guard counter to protect one card and we have king of the swamp I recommend you guys to get two of this but this box there's no urgency to this box because this we are just waiting for the fusion monster to be fully developed so two of this is pretty good enough and we have five hitter dragon 5000 attack and defense but this is purely for YouTube and we have the night joker and I believe this is for YouTube too well, of Tyon is pretty useless and Diffusion is pretty good but one or two is good man. Front gate is the you are king of this this box. As you can see in my other videos I was recommending front gate to counter Cyber Angel and this is pretty really good against Cyber Angel but it was it's quite useless against that library I zombie because that is a su special summon from graveyard this card can't, can't use it then this is trash you need to have 3 of this if you want to play horrors this is trash this is trash boxer is a pretty good card to have so probably just 2 or 3 frame tiger is decent as well 1800 attack and the centaur is pretty good you must at least have 3 you want to play some hazy frame or some beast warrior uh, deck and fusion recycling burn it's just for fusion decks and we have this digital art spell card pretty good but <coughs> sorry as you can see that in my ninja video i did put one on up one card for this putting multiple will just break your hand this Gaia power is pretty trash. Typhoon is a trash. I don't understand why it's a super rare card. Damage equals Reptile. This is trash. Then the rest of the packs. This is pretty good summarized scar. It's pretty much like a uh, Gonzuki. So if you are a red eye zombie deck user or zombie deck user, make sure you have three of this. It has some melee effect as well. And Mars Ninja Nimpisu is pretty good as you can see in my previous video. The Ninja deck and the Mech Ninja deck, his ability is pretty awesome. And he has good defense, 1800. This is trash. So, Bacon Saver is also a must cut for Red Eye Zombie because it just allows Red Eye Zombie to save his ass for one so make sure you have it so the rest is pretty garbage so next moving on we have ele electric overload this is pretty much trash creator is for a fun or troll deck and this guy is pretty good i have a video on him so be sure to watch it as well but it's not meta that this is also not meta this is for fun this is pretty much for xyz if you are a machine xyz player maybe you can have one this deck is also for 
summoning effect so it's not a card that you would like or new player to like three bone frog is also it's it's pretty decent for a point of time because you can easily summon level six or level five monster after this guy is in the grave so another xyz dragon cannon which to me is a trash and we have this the king of this box Ninjutsu Art of Transformation A ninja must have card for 3 You must have 3 card or at least 2 to play with your ninja deck If not the rest of you are pretty trash For the SR this is trash This is pretty good for Ice Barrier Black decks In one of my streams I have featured Ice Barrier deck so make sure you check it out It is pretty much for OTK but other than that there's no it can't last more than two or three turns if you did not OTK it. So Yamate, Yamata Dragon is trash as well. This Gen X is not pretty good. This is not good. Ninjisu Grandmaster Sasuke is pretty good. You, you may have one to have two or three of this. Peacekeeper is kind of trash. Plasma Zone is trash. This is not no use at all. No use, no use, no use. Red Ninja. Dragon Ninja. If you are a ninja player, go for this box. Add three of this, two of this, or three of this, and you are good to go. You are tier one straight away. And the rest of the box are pretty trash, you ask me. And this also for XYZ Monster. So, well, this deck is pretty much the boost for the ninja deck. So if you want to go to tier 1, tier 2 deck, maybe you can come here to look for ninja, this may be your solution. Next we have the server of kings, which I I think I just get the SR honestly, because I don't really like the UR cards. This is pretty good but the summary condition is pretty hard. Man Eater Bob, a lot of people is using this card, so that's pretty good. This is pretty lousy. This is a 1900 Beast Warrior, so a lot of Beast Warrior user you can have three of this. This is useless. Painful Decision is very good for normal summoning uh, cards, which is known as white cards like this guy. So check out my NR video for the Happy Lady. I have featured this cut there. And Forbidden Chalice, I have also featured my cut there. And War of Disruption, Bright Knight, and Training Shield. Honestly, these SR are pretty good. I recommend new players to come to this box and just pick up maybe two of each. War of Disruption, you, you can have two. Training Shield, you have, can have two. Right, right, two challenge two painful decision two. This box is pretty good. I will give them a review of eight out of ten. And we have this 1850 machine filler, which is pretty high in attack as well. And next we have we have we have what do we have next? We have Galactic Origin. I didn't really go through a lot of this new box because I don't see any thing that is meta changing. This UR Fusion card goes Witcher card, sorry. Goes pretty well with Cyber Angel. You may face one or two here and there, so if you want to have a mixture, you can have one or one or two of this. But the key dragon is kind of like a fun deck that goes well with Phoenix deck. This guy is useless. This guy, I don't think it's good as of now because it's too much of OTK now for the current meta. And by by do, by having this card, it, it just takes so long. This guy is not good at all. Azel Force is pretty good because you can tribute this card to target any one monster on the field to destroy that target. You may have need to have two, but this. This box takes it slowly, honestly. 
first elemental hero I have no idea I just think that the hero is still not there yet Cosmic Cyclone is just banishing one spell and trap I believe there are a lot of other spell and trap Remover cards in the market so you can do board like this Into the board is pretty trash as well and this guy is a trash, it's just for fun deck, it's in one of my videos that I made and this is the Gladiator uh, boost it's kind of tier 1 now so if you want to be competitive but this is a big box so think twice before you spend on this box this is trash, this is not bad this is trash, trash this is discern if you play Gladiator trash 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 this is very good important to have two at least if you are playing a tilted deck or any decks that need protection because but just remember it's only for battle plays this is trash so going on to the rare cards this is for gladiator you can pick three of this this is for gladiator you can pick three of this as well Pretty much that's it. And this for Gallator, you can just put one, and you have your Gallator deck with you a standby and other spell and trap cut as the defense mechanism. So the final box is the new box, the Break of Spirit, which I previously give a review, so I'm not giving any review for this. So be sure to check up that box review and that's all for today for the box review on the next beginner guide i will be start um, introducing new decks for new players like neutral deck and some cheaper decks to build so at least you guys can climb up the ladder in the meantime enjoy but for new players just stay tight and be patient that's the best you can do okay that's all for now boys and girls so have a good day good afternoon and good night signing off cheers